Hi everyone, so today we're going to take a look at what the camera setups look like in our teachers' classrooms. Each classroom is set up very similarly. There's a tripod right in the front of the room with two cameras. There's a smart board display and a monitor with a speaker and a touch screen tablet. Here's a closer view of our monitor where the ARA students will be during class time. This is where the teacher controls the meeting during the class period. This is a close-up view of one of the cameras that the teachers will be using every day in their classrooms. This is called the 180 degree camera. This camera films the teachers and follows their movements in front of the classroom. It allows teachers to walk back and forth and the camera follows their movements so the ARA students can follow along as well. The second camera that the teachers will be utilizing in their classrooms is called the content camera. This camera zooms in and focuses on written content either on chart paper or a whiteboard. It makes writing easily accessible for all students who are in person as well as ARA. This is the home page of a student laptop. In the bottom left hand corner, you will see the Windows Start menu. Click the Start menu. It will bring up all of the tiles for the applications on the computer. Find the tile that says Microsoft Teams. Click the tile. It will launch the Microsoft Teams application. Once it loads, it's going to prompt you to set up Microsoft Teams. Click Let's Go. Click Next five times until the pop-up window disappears. You could join a team with a code or you could go to the calendar. On the left hand side of the screen, click calendar. This will bring up all of the lessons and invites that you have for your day. Click on the one that you want to join. At the bottom of the invite, you will see Join Microsoft Teams Meeting. When you click on Microsoft Teams Meeting, it will have this screen. This icon is for the camera. If you want to join without your camera on, you're going to click the slide bar over to the left. If you want to join without sound, you're going to click the slide bar next to the microphone and then click join now. After you click join now, it will launch you into the Microsoft Teams meeting.
When you walk into every school building here at Susquehanna Township School District, you will see every staff member and every student practicing SOAR. Every member of our learning community is committed to showing safety, ownership, accountability, and respect. Our ARA community members may be wondering, how can I show I am soaring while learning virtually? This photo guide is designed to teach you how to soar to excellence virtually. The first step to ensure you soar during your virtual learning experience is to make sure you wake up early enough to start your learning day off right. Be sure to give yourself enough time to do all the things that you would normally do when you get ready for school each morning. Give yourself enough time to eat a healthy breakfast and to practice good hygiene, like brushing your teeth and washing your face and combing your hair. Even though you're not leaving your house, don't forget to get dressed for school. It is also important to eliminate all distractions from your virtual learning area. Turn off your TV, put your cell phone away, and if you have any pets, make sure you keep them outside of your learning area. Finally, you want to gather all materials that were given to you by your teacher so you can begin your virtual learning day. You are now ready to begin your ARA learning experience. First, log into your Susquehanna Township School District learning device. You will need your username and password to do this. We recommend that you keep this information in a safe place, close to your school issued learning device. Once you have logged into your school issued learning device, you will join your scheduled Teams meeting. Remember to be on time. While you are waiting for your teacher to let you into your Teams meeting, Make sure that your camera is on and your voice is muted. During your ARA school day, you will be given many opportunities to participate in class. This could include class discussions or through assignment completions. Remember to complete all assignments correctly and to turn them in on time. There are several ways that you can interact with your teachers and your classmates during your ARA learning experience. While your teacher is given instruction, use the chat feature in Teams to ask and answer questions. During classroom discussions, you will use the raise your hand feature in Teams to participate in class. Remember to wait for your teacher to call on you and unmute yourself to share your thoughts. Once you are finished sharing, mute yourself and lower your hand. Once you have completed your virtual learning day, and your teacher has dismissed you. You will clean up your work area, put all items in a safe place so you can easily find them for your next ARA learning session. Plug in your school issued device and remember to complete your homework. Let's do a quick recap to ensure we are soaring every day. First, remember to wake up early. Don't forget to get dressed. Leave yourself enough time to practice good hygiene. Make sure you eat a healthy breakfast. Make sure you are in class on time and participating every day. When you follow this guide, you are ensuring that you soar to excellence virtually at Susquehanna Township School District. Tech support. If your child is having issues using their district issued device, please reach out to their teacher. Most times teachers can help you resolve the issue quickly. If the problem still can't be resolved, please visit the district web page. On the main Susquehanna Township School District web page, www.hannasd.org, go to Departments and find technology. The technology pages offer many help documents to troubleshoot common technology problems. 
The first page of note is for assistance in connecting to the internet at home. If you need to see a larger view of the document, click the indicated link to download the document. Next, if your child needs assistance accessing Office 365 on the web, you can access this help page. Again, the downloadable link to the document is available. There is also a page for the care of district issued equipment. Please follow these guidelines to help keep your device in the best operating condition. If these pages still don't help resolve the issue, please submit a support ticket to support at hannahsd.org and please include the following information. Parent name, student name, phone number where you can be reached. Are you using an STSD device or a personal device? The type of device and a detailed description of your problem. A remote session may be required if directed by the IT staff. Lastly, please check the Home Internet Options link for a list of resources for families to obtain internet at low or even no cost. All Remote Access ARA Attendance when students are learning remotely in the 2021 school year, the Pennsylvania Department of Education is requiring that schools confirm that students are logging into remote activities and are engaged in the assigned activities. This is done to help ensure that students are learning as much as possible while they are not in the physical school. Therefore, both the logging into remote activities and the engagement in assigned activities will determine a student's attendance for the day. This table shows the possible combinations of students logging into remote activities and their engagement in the assigned activities. The first example shows where a student has logged into remote activities and demonstrated engagement in the learning activities. Therefore, the student would be marked present for the day. The second and third example show where a student has only done one of those two items, either just logging in or just demonstrating engagement in learning activities. The second example is a situation where a student has logged into the remote activities in the classroom, but has not shown any engagement in the learning activities. PDE has stated that students cannot be marked present in these situations. In the third example, just demonstrating engagement in learning activities would be a situation in which the student completed an assignment that was given or posted for students to complete in one of our learning management systems. Seesaw, Empower, Schoology, or Teams, but was not present for the live instruction. The next table shows different ways a student can log in for instruction and ways to demonstrate engagement. A student can log in for instruction by logging into a Microsoft Teams meeting, by participating in office hours offered by a teacher, which are primarily on Fridays participation in class meetings on Fridays, and participation in synchronous lessons that may be held on Fridays. They can demonstrate engagement in some of the following ways, and this is not an exhaustive list. Participating in the chat feature of a Teams meeting, asking questions and or responding to questions during learning activities, submission of what PDE calls a learning artifact from a learning activity, a classroom assignment, an exit ticket or ticket out the door where students answer a question about the day's lesson, a video, an audio recording, etc. Lastly, just as the case with in-person learning, students who are marked absent from school in ARA are required to submit a written note regarding the nature of their absence to the school within three school days. These notes should be emailed to the attendance secretary. The list of attendance secretaries by school and their email addresses are shown here.